humans love storytelling. Since forever we've tried to tell stories, if it's through drawings in caves or through journalism, through tweeting, blogging, writing. Uh, since the, you know, since time, journalism has changed and it's evolved through the printing press days. Then we moved to radio, we moved to broadcasting, digital media, and now automation. Today, journalism is adapting and evolving according to the ways that consumer, uh, to users consuming content. It's all about information and the speed of information. Today, we'll probably hear about breaking news through user-generated content before news channels report on it. And news channels are racing against each other to try to go, you know, to see who can go first with breaking news. But what we need to understand is speed is very important and social media is dominating our lives and it's all about the virality of content. And in order for media to keep up with the way that users are consuming media and to keep up with speed, they have to evolve. And that's where automation and automated journalism comes into place. So what exactly is automated journalism and how is it changing the industry? Quite simply, it's when artificial intelligence through a program analyzes data and it translates that data into an article within seconds of interpreting that information. So while it may take reporters a few hours to write a piece of content, it takes automated journalism seconds. It allows publishers to be able to publish and produce several amounts of content within the fraction of the time and with the same number of human resources. And there's a big chance that one of the articles you read by Bloomberg or the Washington Post today was actually written by an automated journalist. But you're gonna think why would these big news giants who have amazing talented human resources want to use automated journalism? And we have the likes of Thomson Reuters and Associated Press and the Washington Post who all use automated journalism. Quite simply because we need to keep up. We need to keep up with the users. We need to keep up with social media and the trends. It's all about content. Content is king. It's about speed. Information is power. But if we're not quick enough, we lose that power. We're at a day and age where within seconds, thousands of contents are being published. Users are publishing content. They're becoming the news outlets. So we need automated journalism to keep up. Now, it doesn't mean that they'll take over the journalist roles. On the contrary, they'll go hand in hand. Automated journalism will allow journalists to focus on the big stories, on, you know, on doing investigative reporting and doing high quality content, while AI can focus on the smaller stories like financial reporting, sports results. It will do the nitty gritty work. AI will allow publishers to push out more content, to reach a wider demographic. And essentially, that's the goal of any publisher. So as Austin was worried about AI taking their role, they won't because we still need humans to focus on the bigger stories because there are still challenges when it comes to automated journalism. One of the challenges is insufficient data. For AI to optimize the system, it needs large amounts of data and patterns that it can analyze and learn from. And currently, data is limited when it comes to this field. Another challenge is unstructured data. What that means is AI has no problem understanding financial reports and sports results because they're structured and there is a system. But if AI is to become common in the creative world, data there is unstructured and it will need to be able to synthesize and harness that data, which it currently can't do. Another challenge with AI and journalism is verifying authenticity. AI currently cannot verify the information that's coming in, if it's false or if it's correct. So there's issues with the authenticity of articles that go out through automated journalism. And the, you know, the last and most important challenge, which Austin mentioned, is journalists adapting to this. They think that they will lose their jobs, that it will be redundant, but that's not the case. AI and journalism will supplement the talent of human resources. It will allow them to harness their creativity, to focus on the bigger stories, 
while AI does the smaller work. Now, on a fun note, did you know that since 2019, a third of the content published by Bloomberg was done through automation? And Associated Press, they went from publishing 300 quarterly reports on companies in the US to publishing 4,000. That's tenfold of what they were doing through the help of automation. Now, is this playing? I want to show you the future of journalism, something that's very exciting, but not playing. I will keep you guys anticipated to see what I have prepared for you. <laughs> see, that's why we need automation and AI. <laughs> OK, it's fine. No worries, OK. So we looked at automation and journalism and the technical advancements, but let's sort of take a look at the state of journalism in the Arab world. There's been a big shift in journalism in this region since 2011. The Arab Spring actually played a big role on transforming journalism. It was through the Arab Spring that this region saw social media take over and users started leading with the way they consume content and sort of media channels had to start chasing users to show them their content instead of the other way around. So the users showed us all the different platforms they're using and the media in this region adapted to that. They are present on all the social media and they reacted to the, the habits of the users. You know, from 2012, the average time spent on social media was 90 minutes. By 2020, it went up to 145 minutes. So there is a need for us to be present on those platforms. And we have done that well here in this region. We've allowed the users to become the reporters, and we've accepted that. But in terms of technology and AI, automated journalism, we aren't quite there yet. Um, when we compare ourselves to our international counterparts, we do have some way to, to catch up to them. But the challenges with the current media mediums available in this region are inauthenticity and fake news and the misspread of fake news within seconds. The amount of times my mom comes to me to show me a piece of news she got on WhatsApp, and I have to tell her, you cannot believe everything that's shared on WhatsApp or Facebook. You have to go to trusted sources, authentic sources, and this is an issue that we see in this region, fake news, you know, a lot of misspread of information. The media scene is very cluttered. There's a lot of publishers, there's a lot of outlets, but it's very messy, it's very cluttered. We want the news, but sometimes it's very hard to get the news and to sort of glide through the mess. And that's why news aggregators have played a role in this industry. They've become a positive platform. You know, we have the likes of Nubd, which has over 31 million users and an average spent time of 23 minutes, simply because users want this. They want a platform that's centralized. They want a platform that's unbiased, meaning that news aggregators don't pick and choose which publishers will be on their platform. They provide a centralized platform with all the news, but the key here is personalization. Users want to personalize the content that they want to receive. That's why we choose who we follow on social media. We choose who we want to see and the content that we want to see from the people we like. It's the same with news. I have my preferences. So news aggregators provide that platform that's unbiased, that allows me to choose the content that I want that provides diversity and that's centralized. We also have very successful news aggregators internationally like Flipboard and Smart News. So as we look onto the future and we talk about predictions and it's all about technology and automation, you know, robot journalists, the video I wanted to show you was of a robot journalist, but he looks completely human and he might sit alongside our journalists we'll see augmented reality in storytelling and in reports and automated verification, which means in a world where misinformation is spread so fast, 
automated, automated verification will assist journalists in verifying information in seconds. We're going to have millennial reporters because Millennials are a big part of the Arab population and they're casual, they're cool. We're going to see less serious reporters and more casual reporters. We're going to see automated translation, we'll talk about 5G and 6G and beyond. But the thing to remember here is that technolo technology will assist us. It will enhance this industry, will make our lives easier. It will assist journalists, but we shouldn't forget the human touch the human emotion. Uh, if Sophia the robot was up here presenting, I don't think you would have enjoyed it as much. We love storytelling, we love to share our thoughts, we love to share our emotions, and AI and journalism can't do that. So while it will enhance this industry, it will enhance the user experience, we still need humans to give that touch. Thank you.